Hey there, amazing people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Delicia and you're watching Delicia at Home. And if you'd like to see how we upcycle from this dining table to this one, stay tuned. So here it is, as you can see, it's pretty dated, but its quality is still intact. This table was gifted to us by my husband's parents for our marriage. So it's over 20 years old and it's still holding up. The top is dated and we're just not really feeling the tile anymore. So I suggest it before tossing it, let's try to upcycle it. So I went to work and we really searched for what would look good in this space. If you caught my fall decor tour, you may remember that I said I had plans for this table. The plans kept getting pushed back but now things are in full effect. The top was easy to remove, uh, just a few screws. It's actually loose right now. The top's just sitting here. As you can see, um, the finish on it, on the, around it is, has a lot of wear and tear, but look at those legs. Look at the frame and the woodwork. This is still a really good table. So if we can hold on to it just a little bit longer, let's give it a little love and make it happen, right? My husband is still building this frame. He still has some work to do here, but I just wanted to show you to hold up the new tabletop that we're putting together. But it, like I said, it isn't completed just yet. This is the foundation of the table without the top, just so that you can take a look. And guys, look what I found. One of my daughters, I don't know which one it was, I think she may have told me, I don't remember, did this. So like, I wanna keep this, I don't wanna get rid of it, but her little scribble is still here from when she was little and my girls are like 20 and 22 now so that has been there a long time i don't see any more marks but i just thought that was so funny when we took this apart and found that if any of you have ever used the rustoleum kitchen cabinet kit to redo your cabinets you know it comes with a huge bottle of the glosser to remove the old finish on the wood I never got rid of that bottle after we did our upper cabinets in our kitchen so I used that to clean the bottom half of this table and it did a really good job and for all of you professional decorators out there I know my area rug is too small the frame is now completed as you can see my husband uh, finished that and he used some wood glue to get the perpendicular joints uh, adhere it together and in addition to that he used corrugated wood fasteners to hold everything together as you can see right here we are using unfinished two by two pine tongue and groove plank boards that we just purchased from Menards and we are staining it with the men wax stain in classic gray Now I've stained things before, but obviously I learned not to do a big DIY project like this when you're tired. This was pretty late at night and I obviously forgot that uh, when you apply stain, you then wipe away what you've done so that the wood can absorb it and all of that stuff if you've done that before, but I didn't do that. And so I was really uh, disappointed and thought that I had ruined it. It's the next morning now and um, I'm done beating myself up because I didn't do the uh, technique right because I was so tired the night before and I like it. I really do. My family actually already liked it way before I did. Uh, they didn't really know what my vision was for this. I wanted to see more of the wood grain, but I actually like the way the finish looks. So we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep going with the project and see what it looks like at the end. 
and see this little dimple right here this was a little piece of wood it was loose in the pine board just like this and my husband was like do you want to keep this and I looked at him and we both said it adds a little character let's keep it so that's why that's there it just gives it something a little bit different and not so perfect So I got a short clip of my husband stapling these boards in and then after they were all in, I thought that the tabletop wasn't centered. He was trying to explain to me uh, why that didn't matter because he wanted to uh, do something else to it afterward, but he was so sweet to put every other board up for me and make me go back and restable them. But uh, he got a clip of it, but I just couldn't get it uploaded. So after this, this uh, right here, basically um, we glued the tongue and groove boards together. And these are just the clamps to hold them in place until the glue dries. So last night I applied a thin coat of Minwax fast drying polyurethane on the tabletop which takes a few hours to dry but I left it overnight. So obviously it's the next morning and today's task I will be sanding it a bit with 220 grit sandpaper and then applying another thin coat of the poly. And I forgot to show you guys that I actually painted the legs before we even started on the tabletop. And if any of you caught that I had one black chair, that's why, because I tested one of the chairs too to see what it would look like before we got started. <laughs> After sanding, I'm giving the table a really good wipe down with tack cloth. Tack cloth is a really good cloth to use without leaving any lint behind. So when using polyurethane, you want to be really careful not to create any bubbles in it because you don't want to cure that to the table. So if you catch any of those, make sure you smooth them out. Finally, after two plus weeks or so, this table is finished. And I really do love how it turned out. And I hope you guys do too. There was a lot of frustration and there, there were a couple of tears, but you know, doing something new, ste stepping outside of your comfort zone, that actually strengthens you. So would I do something like this again? Maybe. And I think my husband and I, we learned along the way, we are not what makers whatsoever but it was a great experience for the both of us the next thing that I'd like to do is figure out what we're gonna do with cushioning the two heads uh, as you just saw have beige cushions that my husband reupholstered for the old dining table and the four chairs the other four chairs are the original chairs to this dining set and they never had cushioning so I want the seating here to be comfortable for all who sit here but I don't think that I want to have gray or white I think I want to break up the monotony it's a process because I want to change the area rug I want to install a chandelier above our table we have a ceiling fan above it right now and because decorating is a process I'm sorry to let anyone know I refuse to break my bank just for a YouTube video. I am not here to impress. That's not why I created this channel. I created it because I love all things home just like my model says and especially home decor. And along the way as I transform our home I thought it would be great to bring new friends along for the ride and we can build each other up along the way you guys can inspire me and hopefully i can inspire you and we can build community together so if you guys are already subscribers and you made it this far thank you so much for watching and if you're brand new and you enjoyed today's video and you're thinking about subscribing 
I'm officially offering you an invitation to do so, to become a part of our friends and family that we're building. My goal is to build community, a safe haven, competition-free, judge-free zone. So with that being said, again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today and watching. And remember, don't let anyone or anything steal your joy away from you. You own your joy. Make your day amazing. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.